specific heat and molar heat capacity. Specific heat, anytime you put the word specific in front of a quantity, that you generally typically means per gram. So specific heat capacity means heat capacity per gram. Okay, and oftentimes that's just shortened to just specific heat. So when we say specific heat, what we really mean is heat capacity per gram. Now, so if you know the specific heat, okay, all you have to do is multiply that by the actual mass in grams to get the heat capacity. So specific heat times the mass would give you the heat capacity, right? So what's the uh, specific heats are available only for homogeneous samples. Why is that? What do we mean by homogeneous? It's uniform throughout, right? If we have a sample that's not uniform throughout, then different parts of your system might have different heat capacities. Uh, so they're going to have different specific heats. So, uh, so specific heats, I think you can look up, for example, for pure substances. So if you have a sample of a pure substance, you would know what its specific heat is. Okay. So uh, what molar heat capacity, on the other hand, is just like specific heat. It's heat this one is heat capacity per mole. So if, if you can look up the heat capacity per mole, the molar heat capacity, all you have to do is multiply that by the number of moles. For most substances, that's, re, that's how heat capacities are actually tabulated on a per mole basis. Okay? There's a few things where you have tabulations of specific heats. If you look up heat capacities uh, from tables, handbooks, or online, most of the stuff you'll find for, for substances are given in molar heat capacities per mole. Okay, and just, and they're only defined for pure substances. Okay, so given that information, the, let's say you have the heat capacity of 200 grams of iron is found to be 90 joules per Kelvin. What's our specific heat and what's the molar heat capacity? Okay, heat capacity is what? Mass times specific heat, right? or moles times the molar heat capacity. So how do you get specific heat? It's just heat capacity divided by the mass, right? So what's our heat capacity? 90.0 okay, joules per Kelvin. And what's our mass? 200.0 grams. So what's 90 divided by 200? 0.45, exactly. So three sig figs, 0 0.450 joules per Kelvin per gram. So the unit for specific heat is a unit for heat capacity per gram. Okay. So you can write it as joule per Kelvin per gram, or you can say joules. Uh, or you can say joules per Kelvin gram, okay? Or you can say joules per degree Celsius per gram, okay? Those are all units for specific heat. What about uh, molar heat capacity? What's the molar heat capacity for our sample? C sub M is C over number of moles. So what's our C? 90.0 joules per Kelvin. How many moles do we have? We have to change 200 grams to moles. What information do you need to change grams to moles? Molar mass. 200 grams of iron. What's the molar mass of iron? How much? 55.85 grams per mole. Okay. So grams cancel out. Okay. So the molar heat capacity for iron is, what would that be? 90 divided by 200 times 55.85. That's 25.1. Okay. 25.1 
Jules Bart Calvin Bermo. So you can write it as Jules Bart Calvin Bermo. Okay. That's your molar heat capacity. Uh, there hasn't been a consistent symbol that people use for a specific heat. Some textbooks use C sub S. Some textbooks use SPHT. Some people, some textbooks use lowercase C. Some textbooks use lowercase s. So be, just be aware of that. Okay. Uh, if, if you want to know if your particular heat capacity is given to you as a specific heat, just look at the units. If it's joules per unit change in temperature per gram, then you know you're referring to the specific heat. Okay. So uh, just be aware of those. Okay. Specific heat of water is 4.18 joules per Kelvin per gram. What's the molar heat capacity of water? How would you do this? You just say 4.18 joules per Kelvin per gram, right? I'm just going to put per gram here so I can quickly change this. How do I change it to per mole? One mole of water is how many grams? 18.02 grams. Okay, so what's 4.18 times 18.02? joules per Kelvin per mole. The molar heat capacity of a solid metallic element is approximately equal to 3R at room temperature, R being the gas constant, 8.314 joules per Kelvin per mole. Okay. This is known as the law of Dulong and Petit. And it's a good way to determine the specific heat. Uh, a lot of times we're interested in the specific heat, okay? But this is a very good number to remember, this, but this is per mole. So you can just change it to per gram if you want the specific heat. So what is 3R? 3 times 8.314 joules per Kelvin per mole. If I want to make that per gram, what should I do? For iron, what was the molar mass of iron? 55.85 grams for one mole, okay? So moles cancel out. This will give you how much? Zero point. We had that earlier. Right? Zero point three one times 1 divided by 55.85, Okay, let's see. 3, three times 8.314 divided by 55.85, 0 0.46, 0 0.45, okay. I'm just doing two sig figs here. Joules per Kelvin per gram. Uh, here's a clicker question. Specific heat of water is 4.18 joules per Kelvin per gram. Specific heat of iron is 0.45 joules per Kelvin per gram. Which sample releases more heat if cooled from 100 degrees to 37 degrees? In other words, if you're given a choice, hold a piece of iron that's at 100 degrees or dip your hand in water that has, that's at 100 degrees, which torture would you choose? Which is the less evil torture, the less desirable? Uh, which torture is less undesirable? Huh? Hmm. If you're, assume you're not allowed to pick none of the above. <laughs> Uh, 
which one would release more heat? Oh, okay, what's the formula for Q? C delta T, right? And what is C? It's mass times the specific heat. I'm gonna use C sub S. I like I like this not new notation that I've been seeing in recent textbooks. C sub S for specific heat, okay? Heat capacity is mass times specific heat. You're looking at the same delta T, right? From 100 degrees to 37 degrees. You're looking at the same mass. So which one will give you a bigger Q? Let's try again. See, if it has to cool down from 100 to 37, it has to release heat, right? In fact, Q here is gonna be negative. water okay water releases more heat 